Hi, in this episode, we are going to decorate the scene. First, hide the skyline with an imported mountain model. Then align it with the context model. Using the Align feature we introduced before. Copy and paste the material. In this way, you can quickly hide the skyline. Here we have three new models for the interior space. Import them into D5. Align them with the building model. And adjust their materials. Move on to light adjustment. You can choose from the four types of lights in the Add Light menu. Or use the shortcut key 1, 2, 3, and 4 to quickly add one. Here we need a rectangular light to illuminate the space. You can still use Gizmo to move or rotate the light after putting it down. Continue to edit its length, width, attenuation radius, color temperature, and other parameters in the right panel. Here is a visible in reflection switch, which can remove the reflection of light on the floor when it's turned off. Then move the light to a proper position. Check how it looks in the whole scene. Decrease the light intensity if it's too bright. You can also adjust the glass color or transparency to affect the light. Other rectangular lights work the same way. Please note that if you lock the aspect ratio, the width will change in proportion to the length. Press shift and drag the coordinate axis to duplicate the light. Use the shortcut key L to hide or show a light icon. Keep on editing other lights. Duplicate this light. Flip the light by rotating it 180 degrees on the x-axis. In this way, it can illuminate the ceiling which is the main part shown in the camera view. Then group these two lights with the shortcut key Ctrl plus G. Place the duplicated light groups on other stories. Here we want the light to gradually fade from bottom to top. Press Alt and select the light you want to edit. In this way, you can adjust lights separately. With no need to ungroup them. This tip works on other objects too. Then decrease the light intensity one by one. Done. You will get the fading effect as needed.
To better manage these lights, we recommend the layer feature of D5, which can help you classify the objects used in the scene. If you didn't create layers before adding lights or decorations, don't worry. Click on the plus button to create a new layer and name it light. Then select all the lights. Change their position from default layer to light. Now you have all the lights in one layer. If you check the light layer, all the objects added later will be in this layer. In a word, objects will be put into the checked layer. Next, add some plants to enrich the exterior part. To quickly fill the lawn with grass, you can use the scatter tool. Go to Assets, Model, Nature, Ornamental Grass. Click on the Brush Tool sign to activate it and select the grass models you like. Pull the brush radius to the maximum and it'll switch to the scatter tool. Adjust Density size and random size of the grass models. Then click on the lawn. You'll see the lawns with the same material all filled with grass. Yet the grass here seems a bit large. So we need the eraser tool to quickly delete them. Pull the eraser radius to its maximum. Go back to the scene and click the lawn. The grass will be cleared all at once. After reducing the grass size, repeat what we've done before, and the lawn will be filled again. Keep on adding other plants, so the lawn can look more beautiful. It might need several trials before you can get an optimal effect. Please note that plant models added via the brush and scatter tools won't appear in layers because they're attached to the surface of another model. You can use the brush record panel to manage them. Select the brush tool to add more plants. The eraser tool to delete them. The eye-shaped button to hide or unhide them or right-click on Delete to clear all the plants. Now we've finished with the grass, so move on to add some shrubs, making the lawn look more lively. These shrubs are independent models, thus you can place them in a new layer called Plants. Here we choose a tuber fern. Press the shortcut key, C, and move your mouse. The size of tuber fern will change accordingly. If the shortcut key, R, you can rotate the model. This tip enables you to adjust the model before putting it down. Which is quite convenient. After completing the lawn, you can decorate the mountain model far away. To make the scene look more harmonious, use the brush tool to quickly paint some trees. An easy method to brighten the tree leaves is changing its material color by the color map or hue. Now it looks more vibrant. Finally, add some shrubs near the tree root, and the wood will be more natural. 